Hi there, this is Rhinosaurus, and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, filtered FM bass sound. I'll just give you a quick demo from this track. Play it over here where it's a bit more filtered up. Alrighty, so I'll start off by opening up a new MIDI channel with uh, just Command Shift T, will do that with a shortcut. Then uh, I'll go over to my instruments and drop in an operator. And um, I'm just going to copy over the some of the MIDI files from the other track and then just turn that off. So I'm just going to duplicate the same um, pattern from the other tune. So um, if I play this now, it's just a sub just a sine wave. So I'll go down here to wave. I'm going to change that over to saw. Play that now. There's just the operator saw. I'm going to turn the spread up just because I know I'm going to want it spread later on. And um, what I'm going to do now is hey, I'm just going to quickly turn this up one octave. Turn it up. And now I'm going to turn up the level on this um, oscillator B, which as you can see if you go over to the oscillator arrangement window is a range going straight into oscillator A, so it means it's, um, it's modulating it. So um, I'll turn this up, so you can see it's a sine wave, now I'm modulating a saw wave, and we have a real rough sort of FME saw sound. But I'm also going to turn off this re-trigger option, and you'll notice the sound change. Um, also, if you didn't know, there's this little arrow here in Ableton, pop that up and you can click on any parameter and it'll explain it a bit further. So um, this will explain the, uh, what that button does with the re-trigger and the phasing amount. But um, for this sound, I'm going to have it off. So a nice fast saw. So um, quickly I'm going to go over to this old channel of mine that I already made and I'm just going to copy over the sidechain compressor for the kick. Now when the kick fires, it's ducking this, just so it'll sound a bit tidier. And um, now I'm going to go over here to the filter on, oscill on the um, operator, turn it on. See there, it's set at 500. I'm going to turn that right down and uh, turn the envelope up. So now you can hear it's got the um, envelope applying to the filter. And I can tweak it with these sustain and decay settings. As you can see here, they move as I move this dot around. Alrighty, I'm going to set that somewhere around there for now. Now I'm in this channel, I've got this uh, sausage fattener plug-in for my uh, distortion there, but I'm just going to use the Ableton one here. I'll, um, I'll just drop in, where are we, overdrive. And I'm going to turn the dry wet down a bit, and I'm going to sort of bring the focus frequencies over here. I'm just looking for a bit more warmth there. So now if I unsolo this and we have a listen how that sounds against the track. It's getting there. But um, what I'm going to do next is chuck on an auto filter, solo it again. See there, I've brought it right down and I'll pop that into a new automation lane so I can automate it easily. Salute this. Whoops, lost it. Maybe make that a nice short little cut off on that last note. But um, something else that I've done in this tune is I've sent it to a small reverb, so if you can hear what happens when I turn that up. Fills it out, makes it a little bit warmer.
mix is a bit shoddy, but um, that's more or less the sound. I'll just have um, give you a quick look at the the reverb sound I've got there. Um, it's just a really small Ableton reverb, and um, I've just cut a bit of the subs out of that. So when you're sending a, a bass sound like that to another reverb, you don't want to overdo the bass and muddy up the hell of everything. So um, cut a bit of it out of your reverb, and it'll um, end up a bit tidier. Um, anyway, that's pretty much the sound. You can check out more tutorials at rhinosaurus.com. So um, cheers, guys.